This is my 2021 Specialized Enduro Comp. It's a really nice bike. And if I'm being honest... Oh God, okay, you didn't think I was gonna use the same introduction on a new video. Um, click here and, or here, and it'll take you to the previous video where I explain why I'm doing this, but essentially this is a new bike comparison video where I invite a guest rider out with their newish bike and compare the differences between the enduro. So it might be a trail bike, might be another enduro bike, might be something completely different, and we'll just evaluate what we notice when we ride them. Okay, I'm pretty excited about this bike comparison. I have a guest rider named Sean who's bringing along his 2021 Orbea Rallon, which is a enduro bike similar to the Specialized. So this should be an interesting ride to compare with. I think Sean has a reputation as an all-out grinder. He rides often and rides hard and has probably logged more kilometers than I have in the last two seasons. Also of note is Sean is relatively new to this style of mountain biking, so now that he's on a full carbon high-end enduro bike, he's really progressed in taking his skills to the next level. Okay, so Sean and I reviewed the differences between my bike and his bike, and based on uh, some of the significant changes, we have some things we want to evaluate while we ride down the trail. So for Sean, he's going to be looking at a few uh, things on my bike, so go ahead Sean, what were you thinking of? Um, the brand of fork's different and the fork on my bike's a little bit burlier. Uh, the travel is uh, substantially longer on this bike, and I was also going to talk about the weight of the bike. The, what, this bike's actually three to four pounds heavier, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how it rolls. So I'm looking at similar things. Uh, I'm, in, I'm very interested in this Fox 38 fork because it is a burlier fork than the Lyric. Uh, again, his frame is a little bit lighter than my frame. The wheelbase being a little bit, well, a little bit short. It's about six centimeters shorter than the Enduro Comp, so it might be a little bit more maneuverable. And at speed, I'm curious whether the Comp uh, feels more stable than this or not. Anyways, there's some differences that are worth noting and uh, they're both enduro style bikes, so it'll be fun to ride them downhill. Let's see what happens. So Sean and I decided to ride uh, Butterball into Rodeo. We, uh, we both know those trails really, really well and how our bikes handle on them. So hopefully it gives us an indication of evaluating some of those differences. Um, we're gonna give her and see what we think afterwards. Okay, man. Let's do this. Well, both bikes go through mud pretty good. But I think I'm noticing this fork. It feels good and stiff in steering. Woo! Oh, that felt good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? That was different. Like these bikes are different. Oh man, this is a great ride, man. That I is really, really I really feel like how solid this bike is. Is that right? Oh yeah. And I felt how nimble and maneuverable this bike is. And it keeps its speed. Okay, so Sean and I just finished Butterball and Rodeo together. 
and uh, we both had a really good ride actually the bikes are, are both amazing but we did notice some difference so Sean you were you were all about the change in the fork uh, a longer wheelbase and the bike is heavier what what did you think when you rode it did all that just sort of feel fork, the way you'd fork expect felt great a um, little bit like I said the, the the Fox 38 I'd say I prefer it's a little bit uh, beefier um, the the travel on this bike i really noticed and the weight uh but in a good way like i felt like so solid on it nice uh hitting the corners you can really throw yourself into it and the bike just feels like you, you're 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 you, you're under control you know so yeah beautiful bike um, really enjoyable ride so something sean wasn't really intending to evaluate but we ended up talking about anyways is specialized has their in-house brand butcher tire which here in North Bay, for whatever reason, the dirt we ride on and the terrain we ride is a really, really good tire. And Sean's bike is specced with a Minion DHF and a Minion DHR uh, 2.5s. And again, like a classic tire, really good. But Sean was saying he really noticed, uh, just like you said, he threw it into the corners, uh, relied on grip, and the bike felt solid. So uh, for me, I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but the fork is noticeable. It is stiffer, it is solid, it feels good. Again, we're not doing anything scientific. We didn't change our uh, air pressures or any setup stuff. Um, everything is just the way I would ride it on my bike and the way Sean would ride it on his bike. Um, the weight, I noticed that. His bike is lighter. Um, when I went to pull up on things, it, it's less bike to pull up on. That also could have something to do with his wheelbase being shorter, that there's uh, maybe easier to pull up. And, uh, and I did notice that wheelbase maybe a little bit more agile, a little bit more maneuverable where the Enduro at speed, I, I think, actually does feel a little more stable because it's a longer wheelbase. But, you know, differences in bikes, and uh, it's just really cool that Sean and I were able to notice them. Like, that's really neat to swap bikes and just be able to see that. So, cool. So there's a new bike comparison between the 2021 Specialized Enduro Comp and a 2021 Orbea Rylan. Both awesome bikes, and if you like this style of video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I'll be doing more of these comparisons, so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll know when they come out. I hope you're having a great season so far, and we'll see you out on the trails. Take care.